Howdy folks, Max Mogren out here in the Tetons with my dog, the Maestra, out for my first ski of the season. I know I'm wearing a funny hat, kind of ill-prepared. I'm wearing jeans too, uh, but I'm doing a gear review of the DinaFit Super Light Bindings. I've been wanting to do a gear review on these particular bindings for several years, and now I think I'm finally ready to. Uh, these bindings are crazy light. I'll put the exact weight in grams in the description, but I think they're about 190 grams. Whereas the DinaFit uh, Speed Radicals, for example, I believe they're about 375, but I could be wrong. Check the video description for the exact weights. These bindings, this particular pair, I've been riding these for uh, two years, no problems. They're running great. I got a leaf in there. You know, in the past with DinaFits, some people had troubles where they wouldn't clear all the snow out. Compared to the older models, these work great. You can see it's pretty much all metal in the toe piece, except for right underfoot and obviously the lock there but i've had no problems with the plasticized parts there uh in my own experience being kind of a heavier guy weighing about 208 pounds when i weighed myself at the bird yesterday after a burger and a beer in the past i've had troubles with the connection of the heel piece the metal fatiguing over time not with this model of bindings but with the radical sts and the speed radicals uh, where, you know, it's not a big deal, but after putting a couple hundred days on a pair of bindings, uh, the towers would blow out there. Haven't had this problem with these skis. Maybe over time, if I have that problem, I'll let you know. But I've got nothing but good things to say about these. Again, they're super light. You can get an adjustment so the heel's adjustable. You can get a brake for the back there too. But I choose to just go with the lightest, cleanest setup there and just stick with one set of boots. Uh, right now rocking the DinaFit uh, TLT7s, my favorite boot of all time. Uh, got nothing but good things to say about that as well. So if you want a good backcountry binding, you want the lightest, you want the best, you want something that'll hold up to a 210-pound dude with a 20-pound backpack, uh, stomping around in the mountains and skiing at the verge of here at the edge of his control uh you know i'm not the best skier in the world but i go pretty fast and put these bindings through the ringer so i highly recommend these got nothing but good to say about them so that's all my stress we go shred some power some corn or whatever this is out here yeah uh just so you know i'm not sitting on the corners here remember always stay back from cornices just in case you're wondering i got rocks right there so y'all take care one love peace